Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about how to display Armstrong number between 1 to 1000 using C language. Next, I am going to discuss about the dry run method of this program. So, the first uh, or two line is header file. Uh, first, uh, I used has include stdio.h header file that is standard input output header file. So, the use of standard input output header file, the printer function or definition written inside uh, stdio.h header file and console input output. That is Conio header file, the definition clear as screen and get CS function written inside there. Now next to void main function. So if you compile the code, then control comes to uh, main function. Hereafter that will go inside. At here I have taken for integer type variable n tmp rem sum and uh, I used uh, CLR SCR function to terminate previous output screen. Next, printer function. So, whatever inside of double quote, so that will display into the output screen. So, this will, this message will display into the output screen. Next, I used for loop. So, n value start from 1 and n less than equal to 1000. So, 1 less than equal to 1000, that's true condition to then that will go inside at here in value go to tmp so tmp become 1 and or sum equal to 0 and here after while tmp greater than 0 tmp value is 1 1 greater than 0 or uh, that's true then that will go inside rem equal to tmp mod 10 so 1 mod 10 or uh, 1 mod or 10 so the value equal to 1 so at here rim become 1 now sum equal to sum plus rim into rim into rim so sum value is 0 
uh, 1 into 1, 1 into 1. So 1 into 1 into 1, 1. So this will become 1. So add your sum become 1. Now TMP equal to TMP by 10. So 1 by 10 the value equal to 0. So from here that will go and up and uh, check the condition. So TMP value is now uh, 0. Or uh, check the condition 0 greater than 0. So that's not true. Then that will go out of while if at here that will check if n double equal to sum. So n value is now 1, sum value is now 1. Both condition is true. Then that will go inside. At here print of new line percent d because n is so uh, integer and n value that will print. So the value 1 or uh, print. Uh, next to uh, from here that will go up and increase the value of n. So now n become 2. Uh, that will check the condition 2 less than equal to uh, 1000 that's uh, true then that will go down n value go to temp so n value is 2 that will go to temp so n temp become 2 uh, some value is now again 0 hereafter or uh, while loop TMP greater than 0. TMP value is 2. 2 greater than 0. That's true. Then that will go inside. Rem equal to TMP mod 10. So 2 mod 10. Remainder 2. So at here rem become 2. And now sum equal to sum plus rem into rem into rem. So sum value is 1 and oh sorry some value is 0 and 0 plus rim into rim into rim so 2 into 2 into 2 8 so 0 plus so 8 or uh, 8 now some become 8 here that will go down tmp equal to tmp by 10 so tmp value is now 2 2 by 10 the value 0 so TMP become uh, 0 again and here that will go up and uh, check the condition T uh, 0 greater than 0 so that's not true so that will go out of while loop at here check the condition n value is not 2 and uh, some value is 8 so 2 double equal to 8 condition is not true uh, so condition not true so that will not print to anything from here that will go up and increase the value of n so n become 3 so 1 2 3 <clears throat> till 152 or uh, condition or uh, if condition not true so or uh, nothing will print hereafter when the value become in value become 153 so let's check so if in value become 153 then at here check the condition 153 less than equal to 1000 that's true then that will go down in value go to TMP in value is now 153 that will go to TMP so TMP become 153 and uh, some equal to 0 sum become 0 again hereafter while loop tmp greater than 0 so 153 uh, 153 greater than 0 that's true then that will go inside rem equal to tmp mod 10 so 153 mod 10 so the remainder 3 so rim become 3 and had, uh, here after that sum equal to sum plus rim into rim into rim so 0 plus or uh, 3 into 3 into 3 or 27 so total become 27 so sum become 27 
here that will go down TMP equal to TMP by 10. So TMP value is now 153 by 10. So the value 15. Now from here that will go up. So TMP become uh, 15. Check the condition 15 greater than 0 that's true then that will go inside or uh, rim equal to tmp mod 10 so 15 mod 10 or uh, rim or uh, 15 mod 10 so remainder 5 so rim become 5 and uh, here after that sum equal to sum plus or rim into rim into rim so some value is now 27 plus 5 into 5 into 5 125 so at here 125 plus 27 2 2 to 4 and 1 5 1 so at here or some become 152 and or TMP equal to TMP by 10 so TMP is now 15 15 by 10 or 15 by 10 equal to 1 or so at here TMP become 1 Again, that will go up. Check the condition 1 greater than 0. That's true. Then that will go inside. Rim equal to TMP mod 10. So 1 mod 10, 1. So rim become 1. Rim become at here 1. And uh, sum equal to sum plus or uh, rim into rim into in between. So one, uh, sum is now 152 uh, plus or uh, 1 into 1 into 1. So that become 1. So at your sum total become 153 and at your TMP equal to TMP by 10 so 1 by 10 or TMP become 0 now that will go up again check the condition 0 greater than 0 so that's not true then that will come at here if or uh, in double equal to same so n value is now or uh, 153 and or some value is 153 so both condition is true so at here that will print or uh, at meal time n n value is 153 so first time that will print one second time 153 like this so this will continue or uh, till or uh, thousand so whenever n value and sum value equal so that will print so i check uh, uh, three numbers one with one with two and with 153 so if you wanna do try run method so enter any number like uh, 169 and uh, just try to do the same process of try run if uh, n and or uh, sum value equal so that will print or else that will not print or uh, and or uh, that will continue the n value so i hope guys uh, you understand the dry run method of this program so you should try with others number like 169 201 so when uh, the value becomes 370 so 370 is the one palindrome number so that will print next uh, so now it's over if you have any doubt related to this program so leave your or uh, comment so thanks for watching see you in next week